Welcome to Netlink Daily Friday edition with me, Linus. Enough said, that's on my script. I don't even know why they put these things in front of me because I can come up with better stuff on the fly than they can come up with writing them out. In fact, they even ruined my last take at this by not telling me that I had to stop and let them put in the intro. <laughs> This week is the NCIX Harvest the Savings event, and I'm pretty sure in the years that I worked at NCIX, I have seen probably three or four Harvest the Savings events. And what I can tell you is that even though the concept of it being fall and harvest and there being savings to be had um, is recycled, the deals themselves are not. So the Canadian deal this week is the ASUS Tai Chi DH51, which is a fantastic little device. So basically, it's a notebook. You close it, it's a tablet. You open it again, now it's a notebook with like two screens. It's an Ultrabook convertible, and it's one of the more unique ones out there because it has two screens on the screen, on the front, on the back, and you can use this in a number of different ways. So you can obviously use it as a tablet and have it, you know, closed and tablet, even though it has a more traditional notebook hinge, which is quite strong and rugged. You can actually use it to screen share with someone on the other side of you. Like, say, for example, you could drag something over there. They could have a look at, you know, a picture that you wanted to show them, or your kids could be sitting across the table from you watching a movie while you're sitting working on your laptop, which is the most antisocial thing I've ever heard, but ASUS did pitch that as a potential use for it. I think what more people are likely to do is just use it as an Ultrabook convertible, and they can do it now for under $1,000, which is a pretty good value. The US featured deal is another ASUS deal. It's a Radeon HD 7953 gig for $209.99. Remember, guys, that includes Never Settle Forever Gold. You get three games from Never Settle Forever. You get to pick the ones you want. And as always, that's just a taste of the awesome deals on NCIX.com and US.NCIX.com. Now for callouts, NCIX now sells the NVIDIA Shield. And if you've been following me for any amount of time since Shield was announced, I've been talking about it pretty much nonstop since then because I'm extremely excited about Shield. The possibilities, the script says endless, but that's obviously not correct because I can't go to the moon in it. But what I can do is I can play Android games on the Shield itself. I can stream games from a Kepler-equipped PC on the same Wi-Fi network and play those on the Shield with extremely low latency. I've tested it. It's outstanding. And I can even do things like control an AR drone with it, although personally I didn't find that option that appealing. Although watching videos on Netflix or whatever is, is great because it has tablet-like battery life in a more compact form factor. In the news this week, the Battlefield 4 beta has been either wowing or Schmowing, whatever would be the opposite, less good version of wowing, uh, because there have been some performance issues. However, they are hard at work. So it was a beta only for pre-orders at first. Now it's open to everybody, but there's only two gameplay modes and one map. The great news is all you got to do is get an Origin account, go to the demo category, and download the beta, and you can try out Battlefield 4 before it is released. Remember, guys, EA has that new policy on Origin where you can actually play the beta, then you can buy the game, play it for a few hours, make sure you're happy with it, and if you're not happy, you can actually return it, which is a fantastic policy. Speaking of small consoles like the Shield, Amazon's micro console. Now, I've been saying this for a while now. I think that PS4 and Xbox One are the last generation of dedicated consoles that are like these huge boxes that sit in your living room. And if you, depending who you ask, whether it's NVIDIA or the Ouya folks or Amazon, apparently they want a chunk of that console pie and they think they can take it too. So Amazon's micro console is going to be designed to play Android games. Gamma Sutra reports that they're aiming to go very high end with their tech, which would be the opposite of what Ouya did, where it was pretty mundane specs by the time it was released, but really relied on game developer support to make it preloaded with lots of titles that you'd want to play. With that said, Amazon is reaching out to game developers, and the device is expected before Christmas this year, which means they must be pretty far along in the process by now. That's it for Netlinked Weekly, guys. Way to make another mistake on the script. It says weekly. Netlinked Daily Friday Edition. Thanks for watching. I'm Linus. I'm Linus. I'm Linus. I'm Linus. Really? You put that in? This is how we all get into trouble around here. Don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips for more videos like this from NCIX.com.